caught me in the studio uh, tonight. Um, I wanted to give an explanation, I guess, on why it's taken me so long to finish this project. Uh, I inadvertently started working on two projects at the same time. So, um, so the idea I came up with is to have two CDs in one project. Um, everybody keeps telling me when it's going to be done and then finally I just said it's done when it's done. Um, for me, when I go to make a, a tune, what I like to do is have a storyboard in my head about the particular project, what I'm trying to say. And then there's another storyboard on, on the tracks or the songs themselves. So it just depends on what the groove is and what I'm trying to say. A lot of music is going to have spoken word in it, so it's going to describe, you know, what's what's going on in the in the um, in that particular song. So this song um, I just started today called "Just for Us," uh, "Just Us." Um, it's about two people having an intimate conversation and the outside world doesn't doesn't exist. I have a similar song called uh, Time Outside of Life which does the same thing but uh, in different kind of circumstances but if we do this again I'll probably talk about that particular song. This song I haven't decided whether I'm going to lay down the keyboard. Um, I can't play a soprano sax, so I use the uh, software out of Logic. And then I'm not certain whether or not I'm going to get it. Once I go in the studio to mix it, whether I'm going to get a live uh, saxophone player to play the track or not. And then uh, I can't decide whether I'm going to have this particular part laid and then have the bass behind it or vice versa. So I'm in that process now about where I want the story to go and what the mode is of, of the song. Um, so basically what I'll do, I'll lay down the groove which I have in, which I've done in this particular song. I'm using uh, Logic software. I like the Logic software better. Uh, the processes are faster. So I'll get I'll run through it, get an idea about what I want to do, and then I'll just uh, ad lib a little bit before I decide to record the track. Then I'll play around with that a little bit and then I'll add the bass and again not really recording anything just trying to see how the pieces will fit you know as I or how I want to tell the story. Um, I've got a couple of basses but this is my favorite. Um, it's a Marcus Miller four string. It's a uh, Fender Japan uh, some years ago did a replica of Marcus Miller's bass which is a 75 jazz bass. And then they have a Marcus Miller five string which is made here in America. And uh, I hadn't had an opportunity to, to have that bass but I'm looking forward to picking that up. Um, <clears throat> enhancing my sound I've got a a Boss Super Octave uh, pedal. I like um, warm tones but I like them to be fat and 
um, again to help set the mood of this song. So we'll try that, see what we can do, fit in in this. Well, let's see. Okay, so we cue the bass. Oh, we should plug it in. like playing around till I can, you know, catch what I want to do. And uh, sometimes in some of these songs when, I, when I'm trying to compose them, I might just lay the groove and keep listening to it for a couple of days. And then sometimes, you know, you guys out there who do this also for a living, um, and sometimes you just, you just get it and you just do it. And that happens uh, for me, but I think I'm too analytical to <laughs> actually just get out and do it all the time. Sometimes I like to step back and actually make sure that I'm capturing what I what I want to do. But that'll just give you a little idea about you know where we are in the process. On one side of the project is done, working on the other, and hopefully by midsummer we'll have this done. So. Uh, We'll keep in touch. Mm -hmm. 